Hello. Hello everyone and welcome back to From City to Country. I'm Kizzy and we are in Wix again. This time it's not greenhouse related. We are getting some materials for um, making our swarm trap to hopefully catch a swarm of bees. So too thin. I don't know how, how much. You think? Yeah. What is this one looks a bit thicker. This I think this one oh <laughs> not with that price. <laughs> What's the length of that? So that would be able to make about three swarm traps. Uh, yes. What are the measurements of this? Eight by four. Eight by four eight piece feet of. Eight by four feet. Eight feet by four feet, yeah. and it's hardwood plywood. Yeah. Just the one anyway. Yeah. The other one walk. Watch this one. Okay. All types of posts. Alright. Yeah. yeah. If any one of you saw the latest video that's up before this one, I said that you can grow your potatoes in buckets and Wix is selling it for one pound per bucket. You can grow your potatoes in here. Obviously, don't forget to put your holes at the bottom for drainage. It's even got handles that you can, you know, make it for easy movement. Now we fast forward to maybe four days from when you last saw us in the shop purchasing the the wood. The swarm traps are completed. We put the entrance and the exit here. Uh, don't mind that. That was the kids learning the alphabet <laughs> and all their doodles in there. But yeah. It's structurally sound. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a foundation in one of the frames that we put together. Although we don't have to, but let's do it anyway because we're newbies. <laughs> yeah. I've never caught a bee in my life. No, but we're going to attempt to catch a swarm. Mm. Speaking of swarm, is that a bee? No, that's a yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so basically, um, the theory of the case is that when the bees come through there, yeah, they want to see about forty liters worth of space. And the kids' toys are in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want to see forty liters of space. Roughly, anyway. So apparently, it's, well, not apparently, but there was a study that was done. And um, they basically said that the bees reacted the most or the best to a 40 litre space. Yeah. Um, so obviously we're going to put these frames in simply for transferring them. I mean, even if we didn't put this in, 
the bees will just make their own comb but this will make it easier for them to start yeah um and when they come in they obviously want to see all the space that's involved for the new colony they don't want however to have all the frames in there like that because it'll just be like a partition wall yeah so you can imagine in your house i mean imagine having like four partitions in your living room yeah i mean like you wouldn't really want to live in there would you no the bees look at it that way funny enough okay so we have to put it in here yeah i was actually thinking to even just maybe even cut this in half but we don't have the wire for it um, yeah. but the wire again is for when you're honey extracting so you don't even actually even need a wire quite frankly um, mm. but it's just something to add when you're extracting the honey yeah i'm not an expert but that's why neither of us are well so. this is what we've seen read <laughs> watched <laughs> now we're putting into practice what we've learned yeah we're imitating so hopefully um we don't even have a old bees bee bee frame bee yeah. wax frame so we're gonna have to start afresh with this start fresh, yeah. right now we've got the foundation in we're not going to put the wires in because we don't have the wire <laughs> yeah so, uh, so we're using what we've got so actually no no we need to put the um the bee law mm -hmm. right so we've got the bee law now it smells really nice um basically this is mimicking what the queen bee smells like um i'll put the name on the screen here because i forgot the name is it form pheromone yeah i'll put it on the screen anyways we're gonna put it next to this frame yeah with the foundation on um we yeah. probably uh, and we're gonna put a few drops at the entrance of the swarm trap so what it does is it tells the bees that oh the queen a queen was here so obviously what's good for the neighbors is good for them <laughs> if Let's it's good if... enough for others it's good enough for us i guess yeah basically <laughs> long story short um, yeah do you want to <laughs> okay, open it so okay and just drop maybe like probably just it is very strong so oh wow yes it is and Smell it. Yeah, yeah. So the bees obviously are better smell than us, so they'll be able to pick that up. Just, just the one tiny. Just, just one. Yeah, just. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> I couldn't control that. Right. But yeah, what we're we gonna do? Should we tape it to the inside of the storm trap? Yeah. And leave it open like that. Yeah, yeah. But no, no. no. So, so you leave it just a bit ajar. So. So like this. Oh, a bit cracked. Yeah at the entrance the entrance is so cute <laughs> that way. No. oh did it go on oh okay <laughs> just drown the entrance in it <laughs> Now that we've secured the below on one of the frames like that with a staple and we left it slightly ajar, now we're going to secure all the frames into the hive. So we're thinking of putting it on this tree, this tree or that tree, but it needs to be south facing, isn't it? Yeah. So we can't put it on that tree because of all the bush and stuff. So this tree facing that way.
it's now up we're gonna secure it um, I think again with some straps just so that when the wind blows it doesn't shake but it looks fairly secure at the moment so yeah now we just wait this is bait hive number two we set it up at the bottom of the property in the second location here I'm just going to make sure that everything is secure up in this tree making sure that the bait hive door is open so that the bees can fly in and out um, should they find this bait hive anyways thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time take care and god bless